Hello, hello, Pizza Packs here, and today we have another From the Vault. This is From the Vault Angels. This was released way back in 2015 and has some of the most famous, famous angels printed up to that point, many of which are just absolutely iconic cards at this point. So without further ado, let's open the unheaven... Open the heavens and unleash hell, as they say on here. So as with the other From the Vaults, we have a exclusive poster, an exclusive die, and special foiling. Let's see. Poster on this one is... Let's see, which one is this? No, oh, this is, it looks like Wayne Reynolds art. That is Teriel, Reckoner of Souls. Very nice. And the other side we have a bit about angels and magic, and then an overview of each of these iconic cards. In fact, I remember just about all of these when they came out. So, played many of these while they were in standard. In fact, I think I, I played just about all of these cards as they were in standard. Sarah Angel and Exalted Angel hold a very special place in my heart, along with Lightning Angel, Bane Slayer, Iridescent Angel, Good times. And Platinum Angel, of course. I think everyone has a good Platinum Angel story at this point. But let's take a look we have in From the Vault Angels. All right, so we've got this very nice cream and Red die, along with the From the Vault Angels set symbol. Which looks like a V with four wings. Let's start out with Avison, Angel of Hope. Back to she's in. All right, so we've got Avatar and Angel of Hope. Let's see if we can back some of that light off a little bit. Yeah, I get a better view of it. There you go. That neat kind of laser from the vault boiling. We have an absolutely stunning version of Entreat the Angels. I don't know if this shows up on camera very well, but this is just stunning. Of course, one of the key components of the um, Miracles deck is one of the solid finishers alongside Terminus and Temporal Manipulation. We have Exalted Angel. It was so much fun. Back in, I believe it was Odyssey. No, it was uh, Onslaught. More. Being able to get this down turn four was just huge at the time. Still is a very good card. If you're a Destiny Angel. This was Odyssey. Now, more often than not, this was reanimated, if memory serves. So, very strong finisher. We have Denara, Sura of War. If I remember correctly, this was from Shards of Alora, Or somewhere around that. Might have been Alora Reborn, might have been Confluence. Vaguely remember it being 
from that time frame. All right. Going for a second pack with a Chroma Angel of Wrath. Now, a Chroma was printed in Legions, which was the second set in the Onslaught block. And quickly became one of my favorite reanimate targets. But this is exclusive art, I believe. This is the Therese Nielsen art. We have a Chroma Angel of Fury, which was one of the uh, color shifted cards from Planner Chaos, if I remember correctly. Being able to morph and play this as morphed and then blink it was very powerful at the time. It's also very strong for control mirrors since it couldn't be countered. It was very difficult to get rid of once it was out. Angel of Strife, originally printed in the first commander set, if I remember correctly. It's the one of the first voting mechanics war or, sh or war or peace we have Aurelia the war leader why are these well, I don't... Aurelia the war leader from Ravnica. We have Baneslayer Angel. Which is just huge for control mages such as myself when it was printed. It's far and away one of the best win conditions at the time. Now on to the third one with Iona or Giona, depending on how you wish to pronounce it. I've also heard Yona. Still, one of the best things that you can reanimate to just shut down your opponents. Still sees fringe play in, in Legacy Reanimator. We have Lightning Angel. It's from Judgment, I believe. So a significant play in both aggressive and control, in control strategies at the time. And good old Platinum Angel. Is uh, so many games to <laughs> go for very long. Originally printed in, a, in Mirrodin block. I can't remember if it was Mirrodin or Dark Steel or Fifth Dawn, though, for some reason. Then the Classic Angel, with, the cl with art by the Classic Angel artist, Rebecca Gwai, who is one of my favorite artists, if not my favorite artist in Magic. Good times with Sarah Angel. Then we have Teriel, Reckoner of Souls, with the Wayne Reynolds art. Just fantastic Mardu Commander, and so much fun to play. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure to the vault, or to the archives for From the Vault Angels. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And leave a comment down below. What's your favorite angel that's ever been printed? I still have a very special place in my heart for Sarah Angel. Um, but Acroma is really high up there. Exalted Angel. It's just still one of my favorite angels ever ever printed. Entreat is fantastic. These are all great. But let me know down below. And until next time, stay awesome.
We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.